Get ready for the morning rush. A quick wrap of your news and weather. We'll start with Kristen Curry. Good morning. Active weather moving in over the next 24 hours. Today we'll get a lot of cloud cover moving in. Even a few spot showers possible over western and southern New Mexico tonight. This really fills in overnight into tomorrow morning with wintry mixed showers and even some high elevation snow. We will keep you updated as this storm moves in. Crystal? And as you get ready to head out the door from the day's top local stories, we start with Fernanda Lopez. Should the parents of teen criminals be held accountable? That's a question many are asking after the wife of a local bartender killed during a night of teen mobbing. Put a blame on the parents of one of the teens involved that night. A judge sentenced Matthew Baldonado to jail until he's 21 yesterday. Vinnie Garrick said in court Baldonado's parents did him no favors in his raising and she holds them just as responsible as their son. Sarah? One local program is aiming to keep you safe by helping repeat DWI offenders recover. The DWI Recovery Court program in Bernalillo County is looking to stop repeat offenders on the road by rehabilitating them through a year of intense supervision, counseling, and classes. The Recovery Court program only deals with repeat offenders, those with a second or third DWI offense. Since the beginning, the recidivism rates for the graduates are only is only 6%. Crystal? When we go to news happening right now, families continue to wait for word on their loved ones after a deadly explosion at the fireworks market outside Mexico City. Investigators still trying to figure out what the causes. Dozens of people were killed, more than 70 others left injured in that blast yesterday. Most of the victims have not been identified just yet. Many Mexicans traditionally celebrate Christmas and New Year's with fireworks and with rockets. The battle continues between the state of Texas and Planned Parenthood this morning. That organization now has a final notice of plans by the state to cut off Medicaid funds soon. The group responded by vowing to ask a court to stop Texas from defunding clinics in January. Republican Governor Greg Abbott pledged to kick Planned Parenthood out of the state's Medicaid program more than a year ago. On to news happening this morning, an eight-year-old is recovering after being shot in the foot in what police are calling a possible road rage incident. Police say the shooter nearly ran several other drivers off a Portland freeway before shooting at the girl, or rather the car that the girl was riding in. The shooter is expected to appear in court today and attempted assault charges. Four more people are facing charges this morning in connection with the water crisis in Flint, Michigan. The state's attorney general announced the charges against the former Flint officials. Two of the felony charges carry a penalty of 20 years in prison. Residents in Flint have been struggling since cost-cutting measures led to the city's drinking water being contaminated with lead and other toxins. This morning, crews are likely still making repairs to New Mexico High School. This after criminals trashed the library there. Windows were shattered when vandals broke into Tularosa's high school early Saturday morning. They tore up the place. Uh, they destroyed eight computers, two Coke machines, even a printer. Police are still investigating. An Albuquerque caretaker is locked up this morning for allegedly stealing from her disabled client. Police say 68 year old Catherine Cody had access to her client's information because she helped him pay bills. They say the man noticed money missing from his account. Family member later found that Cody withdrew $47,000. She's been charged with embezzlement and forgery. Today's Metro threat index is low. It's only at a two. The only thing we're going to be watching for here in Albuquerque will be those cold temperatures we have out there now around freezing. But do expect this Metro threat index to climb as we get into the next couple of days. Our next storm system pushing in moisture tonight, and it is going to be a messy day of weather as we get into tomorrow. Adam? A GoFundMe page to help La Resolana Leadership Academy stay open still has a long way to go this morning. So far, the school's raised just $35. The Charter Middle School principal says they'll likely have to close their doors because the school's more than $200,000 in the red from the relocation debt. The school also didn't reach its enrollment goal of 100 students this year. It's supposed to be the golden years, but many senior citizens saddled with student debt are paying up big time. The Government Accountability Office says 100,000 seniors have as much as 15% of their Social Security benefits garnished to pay for student loans. Also, more than 70% of the money taken out of their benefits is going toward fees and interest, not the loan balance. Let's get a look at the traffic situation this morning. Should get ready to head out the door on this Wednesday morning. Things are looking good across the metro. No major traffic incidents to report. We don't have any reports of any tie ups that might slow you down yet. We'll keep you posted. If anything comes up, you'll hear it here on KRQE this morning. And this morning, the main street of Mountain Air is closed and will be for some time after a fire ripped through several businesses there. Several stores are all just shells of what they once were. Someone also broke the windows on several nearby businesses, including an auto shop two stores down from the fire. The Torrance County Fire Department says it's too soon to tell if the fire was arson.
Several kids in need are a bit warmer this morning thanks to an honorary deputy. Yesterday, Vincente Rivera stopped by the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department to thank them for honoring him. BCSO honored the five-year-old for putting out a box at the Sheriff's Department substation to gather beanies, gloves, and coats for kids. He also dropped off an ornament for the department's tree. I love that. Mm -hmm. Such a big heart. One Reddit user hit the Christmas jackpot when she got Microsoft founder Bill Gates as her secret Santa. His personalized <laughs> gifts included an Xbox One bundle matching <laughs> Zelda mittens for her and her dog and a framed picture of the family. Gates put Santa hats on all of them and yeah, photoshopped himself in. Wow. That's Could amazing. you imagine? No. <laughs> Wow. Oh, man. That's crazy. He's going to give some great gifts. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time now for the five facts. We start with number five. Happening right now, if you donate blood at three metro area locations in the next few days, you'll be entered into a drawing to win River of Lights tickets and a possibly a $400 gift card. Everyone will receive a t shirt as well. Here are the details. It's today at the Marriott Pyramid from 11 to 5, and tomorrow at the Marriott in Uptown and Howard Johnson in Rio Rancho. Number four, the city of Albuquerque is facing a possible $6 million budget shortfall. The mayor's administration asked the city council on Monday night to slow down its spending, but the council still unanimously agreed to pay about $175,000 to provide a new rescue unit. City councilors are still not sure where that money's gonna come from and also how the city will pay to test an enormous backlog of rape kits at APD. At number three, warm again today with a lot more cloud cover expected, but tonight into tomorrow, we are going to get a round of rain, wintry mixed showers and high elevation snow. Temperatures will come down and the winds will come up in and around the mountain areas. This will continue for the first part of our Friday. Number two now, just in time for last minute holiday shopping, Knob Hill shoppers now have extra spaces to park in and the city says more are on the way. A new pilot project is adding a total of 100 free spots in that area. The city partnered with businesses which had extra spaces that they weren't using. The city councilor Pat Davis says if people like it, they'll work to make it permanent. On to number one now, new details on a story that's gained national attention. A team of prosecutors is now expected to review the murder case against two former APD officers, Keith Sandy and Dominique Perez, for the shooting death of James Boyd. The newly elected DA, Raul Torres, says it's the next step in deciding if there will be another trial. Torres says each one of the seven other DAs will provide a prosecutor to review the evidence in the controversial shooting and then give a recommendation of how to move forward. The first trial for the officers ended in a hung jury. We hope you'll join us on KRQE this morning. We've got a couple of great things happening in the next couple of hours. One, we're going to be talking about weekend events. Of course, we're getting up to Christmas here. Weekend and the New Year's events with ABQ 365. We'll also be in the kitchen, and I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> That's all in Fox New Mexico. We'll see you on the other side in a moment.